New this morning, the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee is making his strongest statement yet, telling NBC News there is more than circumstantial evidence of collusion between Trump associates and the Russians. This all comes as lawmakers are still trying to make sense of what was a highly unusual back-to-back -back news conferences by the Intelligence Committee's Republican chairman. This morning, a new partisan firestorm after the public airing of traditionally secret information. The president saying he feels do. vindicated. I, tell you, I somewhat do. I very much appreciated the fact that uh, uh, they found what they found. The spark, this bombshell from the Republican chair of the House Intelligence Committee, who also advised Mr. Trump's transition team. I have seen intelligence reports that uh, clearly show uh, that uh, the president-elect and his team uh, were, I guess, it, at least monitored and disseminated out. Devin Nunes says the revelations do nothing to change his view that President Trump's wiretapping claim against President Obama is false. Was there a physical wiretap of Trump Tower? No, but there, there, there never was. Nunes says the intelligence was scooped up legally after the election, not collected through spying directed at Mr. Trump or his aides, and not related to the FBI's investigation into possible ties between Trump associates and Russia. What he says is alarming that the names of some Trump team members may have been improperly revealed or unmasked. Nunes taking that information straight to the president, even before consulting with his committee's top Democrat, who quickly fired back. Uh, the chairman will need to decide whether he is the chairman of an independent investigation into conduct or he is going to act as a surrogate of the White House uh, because he cannot do both. Nunes defending his decision. Why is it appropriate for you to brief President Trump given it's his own administration or campaign associates that are a part of this investigation? The president needs to know that this in, these intelligence reports are out there and I have a duty to, to tell him that. The top Democrat then amping up the stakes just days after saying this about the Russian connection to Trump associates. There is circumstantial evidence of collusion. There is direct evidence, I think, of deception. The former prosecutor, known for carefully choosing his words, now going even further. There is evidence that is not circumstantial uh, and, uh, and is very much worthy of investigation. The high stakes back and forth prompting Senator John McCain to criticize the Intelligence Committee's behavior as bizarre and renew his call for a separate investigation. No longer does the Congress have credibility to handle this alone, and I don't That's say that lightly. Meanwhile, the White House is pushing back against any suggestion President Trump knew his former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, secretly worked for a Russian billionaire to help advance Vladimir Putin's interests in the U.S. and beyond a decade ago. To suggest that the president um, knew who his clients were from a decade ago is a bit insane. Manafort telling NBC News he never worked for the Russian government, dismissing the Associated Press report as smear and innuendo. This morning, members of both parties tell NBC News they're stunned by the head of the House Intelligence Committee making these public statements about an ongoing investigation. They argue it doesn't serve the public interest and undermines confidence in the House Intelligence Committee and, frankly, they say, in the entire process of independent congressional oversight. Matt and Savannah. Peter Alexander at the White House. Peter, thanks. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.